Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video will be on acute myeloid leukemia. It is a type of blood cancer where there is excessive immature white blood cells or myeloid cells made by the bone marrow. And it is the most common leukemia in adults. So this picture over here shows the first circle is the normal white blood cells and red blood cells. Whereas the second circle shows there is excessive white blood cells, in fact, immature white blood cells. So the signs and symptoms include fever, bone pain, fatigue, shortness of breath, pallor, frequent infections, easy bruising, and also unusual bleeding. On physical examination, we may expect to see or feel for hepatomegaly, which is liver enlargement, splenomegaly, which is enlarged spleen, and also look for signs of gum hypertrophy, which could be seen in acute myeloid leukemia. For investigations, for full blood count, the white cell count is often high, but it can also be normal or even low. And the blood cells may be few in the peripheral blood film, but we can look for the blood cells. It can be few, so the diagnosis depends on bone marrow biopsy, immunophenotyping, and cytogenetic analysis. So on biopsy, this acute myeloid leukemia is differentiated from acute lymphocytic leukemia by this our rods. So this picture over here shows our rods, which is a significant finding in acute myeloid leukemia. For treatment, we can give supportive care, chemotherapy, where the drugs given are donorubicin and cytarabine. And the chemotherapy is very intensive, resulting in long periods of marrow suppression with neutropenia and also thrombocytopenia. Other treatment includes bone marrow transplant, which is the definitive treatment. That's all for this video. Thank you.